out of this, and what I think is important for people to understand, is that when you have medical malpractice, there can be errors that were not intentional, that are not willful. But when medical malpractice occurs, and the records are altered in such a way that the actual treatment of the patient is not accurately recorded, that is no longer medical malpractice. When you falsify, when, when one falsifies a patient's treatment or misrepresents a treatment, you have crossed the line or the line has been crossed into criminal misconduct. And unfortunately, in most medical malpractice cases, it tends to focus in on, on the accidental part, the medical malpractice. And when criminal activity exists, it often gets overlooked. In my particular case, or in Katie's tragedy, I could see the difference between medical malpractice, that is the anesthesiologist pushing the antibiotic in her that put her in a cardiac arrest. He then applied another drug that made this condition worse. But he also lied as to what he had done and he had also falsified and altered her medical records. So there's medical malpractice, that's a civil lawsuit. And then there's criminal misconduct, and that is falsely, that is willfully misrepresenting what you did. When you willfully misrepresent what you did, you are not just lying, you are stealing. Because you have an obligation, you have a responsibility as a physician mistakes are made to make restitution. It's in, it's in any profession, lawyers, pilots, whatever. You have, to, you have to pay, you may have to pay for what you did. But if you deliberately mislead somebody as what occurred, you have essentially stolen from them. In medical malpractice cases, I don't think, yeah, I, I know it exists, physicians or healthcare professionals, they somehow, this criminal part is missed. The lawsuit is done, the gag orders instituted, nobody knows whatever happened. That's a, uh, uh, a, a negative of our, our legal system is where a gag or restraining order can be put on and there's no information the lawsuit comes out. And then the criminal case is, tends to be forgotten. In the medical profession, physicians can commit medical negligence and falsify records, have their insurer pay a fee, their work can be supervised. They may have to also pay another fine, but they will, by and large, 99% will continue on. It's a high, very high percentage will continue on practicing. If you were a lawyer and you did a similar type of thing, you'd be disbarred. If you altered a deposition or you willfully misrepresented your client's case or willfully lied to a judge or a jury, you're not going to be a lawyer anymore. If you do the same as a pilot, as what I did, you're not going to be a pilot anymore. It, your license is going to be permanently booked. Unfortunately, in the medical profession, that's not what occurs.